Good day, everybody. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Bobby Brown is an American vocalist, lyricist, maker, entertainer, and artist. He began his vocation in the ERNB and pop gathering new version from its beginning in 1978 until his exit from the gathering in December 1985. Bobby Brown is close by as a continuous partner. Teddy Riley is noted as one of the trailblazers of New Jack Swing, a combination of hip hop and R and B. Bobby Brown has an expected total asset of $3 million. Us about Weave Brown's initial life, Robert Beresford Brown was brought into the world on February 5, 1969, in Boston, Massachusetts, as one of eight kids. His mom, Toon Elizabeth, was a substitute educator, and his dad, Herbert James Brown, was a development laborer. He experienced childhood in Roxbury's Plantation Park projects. Bobby Earthy's most memorable taste of being in front of an audience happened when he was three, and one of his young life icons, James Brown, acted in Boston. This presentation ignited a fantasy about turning into a vocalist. He joined the Congregational Ensemble, where he perceived and fostered his singing skills. Bobby Earthy's melodic impacts likewise incorporate Rick James, Michael Jackson, Marvin Gaye, and Ruler. He's 5'10 and tall or 1.78 EM tall about Bobby Earthy's very own life. Bobby Brown has been hitched two times and has fathered seven youngsters. His oldest kid, Landon Brown, was brought into the world on June 22 and 1986 to Malika Williams. He has two kids with Kim Ward, whom he met around 191980, LaPrincia Earthy Colored, who was conceived in 1989, and Bobby Earthy Color Jr., who was brought into the world in 1991 and kicked the bucket in 2020. Eleven year relationship finished in 1991, and Bobby Earthy initially met Whitney Houston at the Spirit Train Music Grants in 1989. They started a dear fellowship after Whitney welcomed Bobby to her birthday celebration. Their kinship formed into a sentiment, and in 1991, Bobby Brown proposed union with Whitney and the couple weed at Whitney's home on July 18, 1992. Whitney Houston endured unnatural birth cycles in 1992, 1994, and 1996. He was the lone youngster with Whitney. Bobby Christina Brown was brought into the world on April 4, 1993. They later worked together on the hit single Something, which incorporated their little girl toward the end of the music video. All through their marriage, there were bits of gossip about betrayal on Bobby's part, liquor, and illicit drug use and abusive behavior at home. Their private matters became grub for syndicated programs and sketch parody shows. Some sketch satire shows depicted Bobby Brown as a has-bee who's envious of his significant other's superstar status in 2003. Bobby was accused of battery after a fight with Whitney in 2005. The couple partook in the unscripted TV drama being Bobby Earthy Colored, which gave an image of their lives in the background. In September 2006, Whitney Houston petitioned for legitimate partition and later separation. Their separation was finished on April 24, 2007, with Whitney getting care of their 14-year-old little girl in a September 2009 meeting with Oprah Winfrey. Whitney Houston owned up to, in some cases utilizing drugs, with Bobby Brown expressing that Bobby had bound weed with cocaine. She likewise told Oprah Winfrey that Bobby Brown had been harmful during their marriage and even had disagreements with her on one event. While tipsy in 2009, Bobby Brown had a child named Case with his part accomplice of two years Chief Alicia Etheridge. They became involved in May 2010, when Bobby Brown proposed during an exhibition at the Funk Fest in Jacksonville, Florida. The couple weed on June 18, 2012, in Hawaii, and have since had two little girls, Jameson Downpour, who was brought into the world in 2015, and Hendrick Earthy, who was brought into the world in 2016. Following the demise of Whitney Houston on February 11, 2012, Bobby Brown showed up at Whitney's commemoration administration in New Jersey, yet was approached to leave by family security. In a meeting given to the Today Show in May 2012, he said security was the reason he and his family left the assistance alongside Clive Davis Bean Jay and others. Bobby Brown has been blamed for adding to the vocalist's demise, which he denies. Bobby Earthy's folk song and Herbert Brown kicked the bucket in something like an extended period of one another. His mom passed away in 2011 and his father in January 2012, a month prior to Bobby's previous spouse Whitney Houston, passing away in January 2015. Bobby Earthy's little girl Bobby Christina 
was seen as oblivious in her bath at a home in Roswell, Georgia. The 21-year-old was raced to North Fulton Clinic, where she was put on a ventilator in a medicinally prompted unconsciousness to stop the expanding of her mind. It was accounted for that. Her cerebrum action was low. She was subsequently moved to Emory College Clinic and after specialists closed critical mind capability. Was far-fetched to happen Bobby Christina was taken out eliminated from the ventilator and put under the watchful eye of hospice in Duth, Georgia. She passed on there on July 26, 2015. At 22 years old, on November 18, 2020, Bobby Earthy Colored's child, Bobby Jarrett, 28 years old, was found dead in his home as a kid. Bobby Brown was determined to have a DD and later with bipolar turmoil at age 32. Bobby said that his medication of decision was weed and that he had created liquor abuse at an early age as per previous group, M. David Collins, Bobby Brown, was hijacked by New York. Road Posse The Evangelist Team More Than a $25,000 Drug Obligation In 1993, Whitney Houston paid a $400,000 payment to the PAC who took steps to kill Bobby. The episode was never answered to specialists. Bobby Earthy's proficient vocation In 1981, 12-year-old Bobby Brown and two of his cherished companions framed the band's new expansion one year after their director's nephew joined the gathering and they formally turned into a Quintet New Version's 1,983 presentation collection. Candy Young Lady arrived at number 20 on the ER and B singles outline in spite of having a few fruitful visits to collections and singles. Bobby Brown would later uncover that he just brought back home about $500 and a VCR while an individual from the gathering left the band in 1985 to seek after his performance vocation in 1986. Bobby Earthy's most memorable independent collection, Lord of Stage, was delivered and sold decently well. It was only after he collaborated with R&B songer authors and makers Teddy Riley, La Reed, and Babyface at his subsequent collection, Don't Be Awful, in 1988, that the music world was surprised that the collection would ultimately sell more than 12 million duplicates. He became popular for his hits during the 1980s and 1990s, including Don't Be Savage Furthermore. Bumping around anyway, his melodic distinction was fairly eclipsed in the last part of the 1990s by his exceptionally plugged and disturbed relationship with pop singing sensation. Whitney Houston in 1989, Bobby Brown made his film debut with an appearance acting appearance as the city chairman's concierge in Ghostbusters. Two, he then showed up in the HBO kid show, Mother Goose Rock, and Rhyme playing each of the three characters of the three visually impaired mice in 1990. He rejoined with a new expansion for execution at the 1990 MTV Video Music Grants, which prompted the gathering delivering the 1996 collection home. Again, new version would get together again for the 2005 Bet 25, the commemoration unique and afterward at the 2009 BET Grants when they played out various Jackson 5 hits to pay tribute to Michael Jackson. In 2005, Bobby Brown marked an arrangement with Bravo for the Truth series, Being Bobby. Brown the show was dropped in 2006 after Whitney Houston would not show up in a moment season. In 2021, he showed up in season 5 of the cover vocalist and in 2022, Life Story Bobby Brown and Bobby Brown Every Last Step broadcasted on an E-Bobby Earthy intends to deliver a detailed storybook called Bobby Brown Reality, which contains every bit of relevant information and was only composed by writer Derek Hans Spike in 2008. When questionable proclamations that he made about Whitney Houston were spilled to the media, he pulled out of the venture and finally delivered the book following Whitney Houston's demise. Well, that is all we have about Bobby Earthy's gratitude for watching this video.